And as promised, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Cafe Show, we have a very special guest, Christian Morgan. And uh, Christian is with uh, the Bantam Rooster Band out of Asheboro, North Carolina. Good afternoon, Christian, and welcome to the Cafe. Hey, Ted, thanks for having us on. Well, I tell you, let's find out a little bit about Christian Morgan. And uh, now you're you're the leader of the band, right? Yes, yes, sir, I am. Me and then, uh, and then my brother Shane actually started the band. Okay, and uh, how long have you been formed? A little over, or actually in our, into our 11th year, so a little over a decade we've been, we've been together. Okay, playing venues around the Asheboro area? Asheboro, uh, Greensboro, and then we've, in the past few years, we've really expanded uh, up along the North Carolina coast and down into South Carolina, up into Virginia, over into Tennessee. Um, so we've expanded our reach a little bit in the last, I'd say, four or five years. Okay. Now, the interesting name, how did Bantam Rooster get its name? <laughs> we get that a lot. It's, uh, you know, it's almost it's almost an embarrass, embarrassing story to begin with. When we started, um, it was there were there were just three of us, and we got together in our in, in my my basement and just kind of jammed out, so to speak. And we came up with the name Damage Control at that point, and then MTV came out with the show named Damage Control. And we said, "Well, they'll never believe that we had it first, so we got to do something." And it wasn't long after that we had we hadn't come up with anything and. We're practicing down in, in the basement, and our grandmother came down. I know, I know it sounded awful. But we, we were not good. And my grandmother came down and said, I wish y'all would shut up. You sound like a bunch of Bantam roosters. And uh, <laughs> so from there on out, we said, okay, if we're going to go with that. <laughs> very interesting. And it's very interesting to find out how bands do get their names. And uh, a very unique story like that. Now, you're a radio guy, too. Yes, sir. And uh, tell us about your radio uh, career. I am. Uh, I've been. I've been in radio. I uh, went. I went to school for it for four years, and was in it. Um, just kind of, you know, dabbling in a little bit. A couple of years before I went to before I went to college. So I've been in it now. I would say about eight years, and then a little over two years professionally. I uh, am the assistant music director for Rock ninety two and one hundred seven five Cheesy L in Greensboro, and then I host the uh, midday and part of the afternoon show. On Rock 92 in Greensboro as well. Okay. Now you're on now? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> uh, the magic of radio. That's all I'll say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For folks that listen to, to Christian. Now, very, very unique. And uh, I'll tell you, Bantam Rooster and uh, this brand new release. Now, what has brought you to Carolina Beach Music? Is this something that uh, you've always enjoyed and want to be a part of? Well, you, you know, gr you know, growing up and, and then starting the band, our whole focus is, okay, we've got to do something where people will listen to us. You know, what's something that people like where they're going to actually sit and listen or if they see something about a band playing, what's going to grab their attention? And uh, so the first thing that the first thing that ever came to mind was was, was beach music and variety music, uh, dance and party. Um, and so normally, you know, in a in a normal set, said okay, people love beach, they love to dance to it. And so, if we can play that, if we can play some beach music, especially some of, some of their favorite tunes that they know from the Embers and the Band of Oz, then we're going to get people dancing and we're going to have a crowd. And that was that was our first the first dabbling into beach music. And we, you know, like I said, played some of the hits that people loved, and people danced to it, and they loved it. So that kind of created our love for beach music. And then we said, you know what? If people love this beach music that much, we need to do something on our own. We can make something, you know, we can make something work, especially women in this area, you know, we're, especially in the, in the triad, we're three hours from any beach, and it's easy for us to get down that way, and I think all of us in, in our band, in our 10-piece band, love going to the beach, and so why not create a song about it? It's easy for us to, it's something that's easy for us to talk about and easy to sing about. Mm -hmm. Well, very interesting, and uh, you know, we love when uh, bands and solo artists do new beach music. Can tell us about Carolina for the weekend. Carolina for the weekend, you know, just like you said, it's it's a newer take on beach music. We had, all, you know, we always said, hey, everything that all the beach music that people love and all the beach music they're listening to and that they're dancing to is beach music that has a little bit of an older feel to it and we said you know what being young you know we're all most of us are in our 20s and early 30s said hey we can take a different take on beach music now the the beach world and just society as a whole has changed 
and the beach scene, especially along the Grand Strand, has changed. So we said, let's incorporate some of the newer the newer things at the beach, something new, newer part of beach life. Let's take that and incorporate it and write a song about it. Yet, still with an older feel and still mention some of the older stuff, but let's take a modern, let's take a modern attack on mm-hmm. beach music. Very interesting. All right. Well, this is uh, on the brand new compilation just uh, it released uh, this past week where it all began and continues. And it's uh, cut uh, number 13, in fact. And we want you to get this and add it to your beach music collection. And we wish the very best. Any uh, bookings down here for SOS coming up and CBMAs in the future? We are actually you know, hoping to, hoping to, to grab a Cami uh, Award hopefully sometime soon. And we are back down in Myrtle Beach, I know, beginning of next year. This summer, we packaged together what we called our Summer in the Cities Tour, and on that included Wrightsville Beach and a lot lot of the other beaches along the Grand Strand and Carolina Coast. And so hopefully next year, we're going to incorporate a lot more of that uh, into our Summer Tour, whatever we decide to call that. And I know we're going to crank that up actually in March down your way in Myrtle Beach um, for the St. Patrick's Day Festival. So that's when we'll crank up back on your way. Well, that sounds great. And uh, mention the guys in the band. Uh, well, so in our band, we have a 10-piece makeup, which is myself on drums and vocals. And then also, uh, I, I sing some of the lead. And then also our front man, John Chaney, who is the lead singer on Carolina for the weekend. Uh, him and I, we share, we share the lead vocals. And then we've also got our leading ladies, we like to call her Courtney Rayner. Matt Hanson sings uh, backup vocals and also plays our bass guitar. Then on lead guitar, uh, we have Terry Burroughs, and then on keyboards, and our MC, usually for the evening, is my brother, Shane Morgan. And then we have a three-man horn line, which consists of Jimmy Plater, we call him the ladies' man, on uh, tenor saxophone. And then our trombone player, Dave Beitzel, and then our trumpet player, Doug Wooler. And then we've also got... Um, uh, Josh Causey, who pulls a, he, he wears a bunch of different hats. He's our X man, as we like to call him. Uh, he sings some backup vocals, uh, handles stage managing for us. My dad is actually our manager, and uh, he travels with us everywhere we go, and he keeps us all on our toes and <laughs> makes sure that uh, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. And uh, he actually helped my brother and I start the band almost 10 years ago. Okay, and you're a graduate of Appalachian State University in Boone? Yes, sir, absolutely. Uh, go Mountaineers. <laughs> we have a home in Blowing Rock. and my wife, wonderful uh, area. Oh, yeah, it is beautiful And uh, when I see it. But uh, Lynn is listening, and she's up in uh, the Blowing Rock area today checking on the house up there and also she got her masters up there at app so and i was sitting in the car on many many nights <laughs> listening to <laughs> far, listening to far away radio stations while she received a master's degree and i commend her christian thanks so much let's listen to that brand new release carolina for the weekend come and see us christian thanks dad hey it's christian morgan for Bantam rooster and you're listening to ted bell on 94.9 the surf